how to, I'm actually just going to connect a laptop to the TV, but it's almost the same thing once you understand the ports you're working with. So what you'll need for this how-to is a laptop or a computer, a cable, depending on the ports that you have, and a TV. Super easy. Now, let's take a look at the ports. It depends on how old your laptop is, you will have different ports. So this laptop is the Sony Vio Notebook. It's a Core i3 processor, great for streaming media, perfect to connect to my TV at home. Now, the TV behind me is a Samsung HD TV. It is a little newer model, but there are different models that have different input ports. So let's check this out. You can look at this particular laptop, which has a VGA port, which is usually 15 pins and three rows of five, and is how your laptop connects to a docking station. Some computers have VGA ports as well. Then you have, on this particular model, an HDMI port that looks like a USB port, but longer and thinner, and has become available in laptops since 2008. And it's also really good for HD connections, especially if you're gaming or watching TVs and movies online. VGA provides an analog signal from your computer to your TV, which means that it's not as high a quality as an HDMI cable that will actually send a high def signal. The other ports that connect your laptop or computer to your actual TV, one is the S-Video port, which is circular and has either four or seven pins in it. Then you have composite video, which is also circular, and the jack is usually in yellow. There's also DVI, which is most common on desktop computers, and that's the digital video interface. And it's a rectangular piece with 24 pins in three rows of eight. And it is really good for HD connections. But now that we've got the ports figured out on your laptop or desktop, we've got to check the inputs on the actual TV. Now, standard def TVs, which are the older models, usually have composite or S video. Now, HD TVs, which is what I'm going to use today, have DVI, VGA, or HDMI, which are all great for high def signals. So let's take a look at what we have back here. So here on this particular TV model, there's four HDMI inputs. So I'm gonna connect this Sony laptop to this HD Samsung TV with an HDMI cable. They have them in all kinds of sizes, all kinds of lengths, depending on how far away you're gonna set up your laptop to your TV. So what I'm gonna do is take the other end of the HDMI cable I plugged into the laptop and use it on HDMI in four. All right, so we got both machines connected to each other. So how do we get to actually see what's on here, on there? Super easy. You have to change the source on your TV to read the HDMI input that we just put in there. Now, depending on your TV, you can actually go to your remote and find the source button. Once you're there, you scroll down until you find the port or the input where you put in the cable, which would be HDMI 4. There you go. All right, so we've got them talking to each other, we've got the TV reading the HDMI input, but if you notice, the desktop is super stretched out and away from the sides where you can actually see the recycle bin on your desktop like you would on your laptop. So basically, and you may not have to do it on the one you have at home, but on this TV, I actually have to change the picture settings, and that's going into the menu, in the size menu, and then you can go down to screen fit, at least on this television. And voila, here you go. You got a full size screen, just like you would if it were a super, uber duper monitor. And that is how you connect your laptop to your TV.